good day to be here. Wow. What's up, everybody? It is five in the morning. I am here in Merida with my friend over there, and we are prepping to go to Chichen Itza, one of the wonders of the world. Let's go. All right, so it's almost 6 a.m. We met here, we took an Uber, met at the park, and now we're getting with our guide and this car going to Chichen Itza. Okay, so we arrived, we drove about two hours and now we're about to get our tickets and it's about 600 pesos, so I would say around $30 to get in and then we'll get in. Oh my God, what a good day to be here. Wow. It's right there. So after two hours of ride, we finally have made it and we arrived here. At Chichen Itza. It's spectacular. So did you know that here in Chechen Itza there was about 55,000 people who used to live here and then so that means that outside of the main area you had a lot of small little huts hundreds of them where people used to live at and we don't really know when it was built but we think in somewhere 400 AD and then it lasted for over a thousand years and then suddenly disappeared and we also don't know why we speculate that might be the weather but people just vanish from living here in Chichen Itza. So here we are in the largest uh, ball court, I guess. So this is where they used to play balls here in the mines, but they also use this area for the decapitation. So they don't really know exactly how they play because to score a goal here would be really really difficult so they're assuming that they are playing with rackets or pads because they have to score over there and that's a huge wall so i don't know if it's even possible but they definitely use this area for beheading and sacrificing here's the crazy thing so if you can look behind me let's see Ooh, right there this is a hoop so they the thesis says there were six players uh, on each team and then one of each player was on top of the ramp over there and that person had to score and when they scored they will be beheaded so apparently the winning team is the one who is going to be beheading that one person and it was an honor for them and they will prepare for it so it's not the losing team it's the winning team this was such an honor to be part of this game that not everybody could watch and not everybody could play
So today is really a dream come true coming here and uh, this is one of the wonder of the world. Actually in 2006 it became one of the top wonder of the world. I think there's seven uh, with Machu Picchu and the Pyramid of Giza and also uh, Chechen Itza here in Mexico. She got a shirt. Alicia, show everybody your shirt. She's so happy. <laughs> Actually, you got something. I'd like to get one of this too. So this is it. We spent about two hours here in Chechen Itza. It was wonderful. I'm really glad I came. I took a bunch of pictures and I highly recommend anybody to come and visit it. Um, I learned a lot about the story from the Mayans and um, really fascinated by the way they used to live and uh, traveling and growing every day by learning from other cultures. It's really amazing. And that's it for uh, Chechen Itza. We are now heading to our next stop, which is the Cenote. I'm super excited to go there. But once again, I wanted to say thank you for traveling with me and learning with me. And I hope this video made your day a little bit brighter. Do not forget to subscribe if you like that type of content. And I'll see you on my next video. And bye-bye from Chechen Itza. Do you want to say bye? <laughs>